So today I'm here in the beautiful streets of Riga, the capital of Latvia, and I'm here to tell you all about Latvian food. So I'm backpacking the north of Europe and I made it here to Latvia. I'm here in Riga for a very short time and this city is just amazing. It's a winter wonderland, it has incredible art deco architecture, but one of the things that really stood out for me has been the traditional Latvian food. So we're gonna start our video by talking about the national dish of Latvia and this is Peleke Sirni. So we came to try some traditional Latvian food here to the province restaurant. Let's go inside. So this plate right here, I'm really excited to try it. This is Peleke Sirni and it's the most traditional Christmas plate here in Latvia. It's actually called Grapeis, that's the uh, literal translation in Latvian. And it has some bacon, some onions, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's very um, rural. It's very, very for the winter. As a huge fan of Polish food, which I actually, if you haven't seen it, you can see my video right here about Polish food. I love pierogi. And here they have their own version, you know, because it's a plate that has Russian influence, Polish influence. So this version is called pelemi. Okay, now for this one, I'm really excited because this is the pelmeni. And you know, I haven't tried it yet. It's like, um, a boiled type of dumplings. I really loved pierogi when I tried it back in Krakow. And I'm really excited to, to try this. Real nice. Um, it's served in this kind of... Um, oil kind of sauce so just like pierogi these are dumplings made of dough stuffed with either meat you know they can have pork or beef inside but also all kinds of vegetarian fillings like potatoes cabbage cheese or mushrooms now let's talk about the bread here you'll see this kind of bread served in all the traditional meals here in latvia this is uh, actually called the dark rye bread and this type of bread can be found everywhere in Eastern Europe and Russia. This right here is the province restaurant and it's a really nice traditional Latvian restaurant. I tried, we tried some of the special dishes here in Latvia and I, tr I truly recommend you this place. Why? Because it's very cheap, it's very affordable for the things you get, because it's incredible. And the, the food, it's so filling, just like all Latvian food in general. But it's, it's a, an amazing place here in the central uh, part of Riga. We are actually really, really close to the um, Town Hall Square, the main square of Riga, which is just a uh, one minute walk from here. So Riga's biggest export is actually a liquor and it's called Riga Black Balsam. You maybe have heard of it because as I was saying, it's sold in many places of the world, but we haven't. So I'm here in this trip with my brother Alejandro, who is recording right now. Say hi Alejandro. Hello. And my friend Jansa, and we tried this yesterday. When the night comes, the city of Riga has many places to explore. We went to this bar to try our first Riga Black Balsam liquor. So 
So this right here is Riga's or Latvia's uh, biggest export. It's actually called Riga Black Balsam. And this is the original one. It's very known. Maybe you've tried it, but we're trying it for the first time, the three of us. The local store us that cheers here in Latvian, it's Prieka. So we're gonna so, do Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Prieka. Prieka. <laughs> Wow, nice. Do you like it? <laughs> nice, but pretty strong. It's kind of like Jagger, but yeah. like, but not as sweet, I would say. Yes, yes. Okay. More, more of like Jagger. <laughs> <laughs> you can try this black, uh, Riga black balsam here or anywhere almost in the city in any bar, as well as the beers here, which are really good too. Uh, there's a lot of big beer culture also here in Riga. Ogli may not be the most traditional restaurant. So it's basically, yeah, as you can see, it's not very much of a traditional uh, Latvian meal. But if you want something international, yes. Wow, the burger, the fries, looks amazing. Also the ribs. In terms of the sweets, there's some special uh, dishes uh, for dessert here, like there's a lot of pancakes, uh, there's apple pancakes, and also potato pancakes. I don't know, I'm curious because, you know, potato dumplings, it's not something that I would think of, but let's see. It's like fries, yeah. you know? This was not a favorite of mine, but I'm sure some people will love it. So we just finished the meal. It was amazing, it was filling. And I feel like, you know, if I had to define now um, the food here in Latvia, it would be, yeah, somewhat um, very true to itself, very rural. What do you think? Yes, uh, you can uh, you can be warm after this uh, this visit. This definitely, food. definitely, and it's cold outside. It's really cold right now. And it keeps you keeps you warm for uh, for outside. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe, give a like, ring the bell to be notified for for my next videos. And as always, guys, I'll see you in the next adventure.